Well, hey everybody, it's HeapCVA. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a repeat customer, if this is your first time here, welcome. Hope you like what you see. Welcome to another installment of Emerge MYC. And yes, there's another video about another update or patch where we are in 0.2.7 of the patch um, deal. And it came out last night. I spent some time last night going through it. I did do a video, but at the end of the day, I think it got way too long. And most of it was me driving around. And I don't think anymore that's what you guys want to see. So let's go through the list real quick and, and discuss how or why 0.2.7 came about. Yesterday they had a um, live stream where um, people that want this game, or, or it's not a game, darn it, tech demo, or they already have it, or they're early adopter, or whatever. It was an opportunity for people to get on during the live stream and say, this needs to be fixed. This is a bug. I don't like this. What's the deal with this? This is broken. That is broken. I unfortunately didn't get to see it. Now, I still haven't watched the video. I'm sure there's one that exists on their channel. And I will get to that. But what came out of it, which I think they need to do more often, to be honest with you, is some things actually got addressed that maybe wouldn't have gotten addressed otherwise um, that I think are positive for their channel for their forums and for the people that both are um, big supporters and the people that are still on the fence trying to decide what they're going to do. So let's talk about the list really fast. Patch 0.2.7, um, wind zones are turned down. That's in the park, and we'll look at that in a second. Remove floating grass or trees in Central Park roads. I can tell you right now it's not 100% fixed, but it's improved. Added traffic to the rest of Central Park Roads and Battery Park Tunnel. Um, we'll probably go over there and check that out. It may make you laugh. Fixed um, 75 trucks sticking out of gate. Have no idea what that is. I have not had an issue with Truck 75 at all. And so I have no real, and I, I don't have anything to show you a picture of. So I have no idea. Somebody had an issue with it and they addressed it whatever that means. I didn't have the issue, so if you did, you probably know and leave it in the comments, would you? All right, fix not being able to click on vehicles from the RTS camera. Um, this is an ongoing issue that some people are having with clicking between vehicles. And for me, I found the, the best way for me to make sure RTS functions correctly is when I back out Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna own engine 30 here right now. So it, it changes my view for a split second. So right now I'm, I, I have this engine. Now, if I back out, and unfortunately we're in the station, see me drop out? And, and I, I say that knowing that it's not really, really a dropout, but I just can't think of another description for all of a sudden how your perspective, view perspective changes. Now, theoretically, you know, and the vehicles are in the station, so this makes it a little more, a um, little tougher, but I think it addresses what I'm talking about here. Theoretically, I can click on this rig here, and now I'm in charge of 75 truck and if I back out there's that change in view again and I should be able to move my view over to 30 if I can get in here it's weird how it kind of takes you on a tour around the fire station click on this and see I had to zoom back in but I have control of 30 again from my perspective of this whole thing I believe you have to be pretty close. If you're far away, I think the range on your cursor, 
that's selecting the vehicle that you want sometimes isn't as accurate as it could be. And so if you're having a problem with the RTS and you, you like have two or three police cars out or you have an engine and an ambulance and whatever, get a little closer to the vehicle that you want to select so that it's zone, if you will, or that it's little radar that it's got to where you're going to click is closer to the vehicle that you want to take over and see if that works for you. Um, fixed buttons not being interactable anymore. I have no idea what that means. Um, it may have to do with the aerial ladders. I didn't. I haven't utilized the aerial ladders in a little bit, so I don't have an answer for you. I'm going to move this up a little bit and make it disappear. Um, but it did get addressed. Um, fixed cars launching into the air on 125th Street. All right, we are on. If I'm not mistaken, this is 125th Street right here. And I don't see, of course, we don't have traffic. But if we have traffic, and they start showing up here in a second, I want to see these flying cars. I totally missed, and I am bummed, the flying car thing. I would have, I would have paid money for that. Well, not really, but, you know, I didn't get to see it. Darn it. But they, they say they fixed it. Um, raise Central Park bridges to allow fire vehicles to pass under. Didn't drive any fire vehicles in the last video. We used the uh, SUV for NYPD, and we hit something in the road. And that's a um, discussion that I've seen on the forums this morning. And yes, I went back to them finally, um, where people are saying it's almost like there's a vehicle in the road that you can't see, but it's there and it stops you. It's not the bridge some of the time. It's literally something else that's in the road. That's something they're going to have to address. Um, lowered manholes for less bumpy effect. I think some of them were just higher, way too high for the road grade. Um, although it's, you know, it's kind of fun, you know, if you're flying down the road in a police vehicle to hit one of those and get off the ground. Um, ladders now work again. Like I said, I didn't try any of them, so I didn't know they weren't functioning. So it's a good thing that they fixed that because I'm hoping that we'll see a fire somewhere along the line here, some kind of incident to go on so we can do something. And so it's nice to know that the ladders are functioning again. I didn't know that they weren't. Um, if you were fooling around with it before the last um, patch or the update, let me know. Um, fixed hydrant positions. That talks about over, um, and we can zip it on over there. We'll go over to 32's house. Um, if you zoom out, you guys know about the two hydrants that are right here. But... They had added some hydrants, and let's go down the street here. There's a hydrant here, and in before this last patch, there was a pipe sticking up out of the ground. And I think it's one of these things here, which is like a, I call it a ballard, and it's to keep vehicles from driving into something, that, and it's protecting it. But there's not enough um, hydrants anywhere in this map to really give you a perfect answer as to what, is what in the zoo. You notice that they changed the street outlay and let's see I went through a tall building so you lose the view of the buildings. This used to be a street right here because this is where I staged a bunch of fire equipment for this the last fire that we had. Anyway let's move on. Um, fixed doors and compartments. Let's go back to 32. We'll go in the barn here. I thought I had them. I gotta be really careful. It's getting really fussy with my mouse. See it. Some days I have to hold down. Some days I don't. Um, looks like um, 32's doors are functioning the way they should. There's not doubles of them. I haven't pulled the rig out of the station to see how many ladders are on here. 
We can, we can find that out right away. Okay, so it kept all the ladders on board. That's a good thing. Um, I didn't open that door, but sometimes, um, and it's an issue that I don't know how much discussion it gets. Stop that. I didn't even push that button. Um, if you click a, a door here, let's say, it affects a door on the other side of the engine and it shouldn't do that. And then the very last thing they listed was removed resolution dialog at beginning. And what that means is, and I think I talked about it, nice parking there, sporty. You are right in the middle of the street and totally in the way. Anyway, sorry, I got off on a tangent. Um, when you started the game, the tech demo, oh, I can't believe I keep saying that. All of a sudden, last week, there was a little startup card, if you will, a little square in the middle of your screen where you could tell it how many monitors you had, what resolution you wanted, and all that stuff, and then start the tech demo, which I love. Um, Notre 112 is the same way. And I like those things. I like to get the setup stuff out of the way before the game starts. That mean, that tells me everything is loading correctly. They took it out. I'm bummed. I really liked it. To me, it worked. It must not have worked for other people. And I honestly don't know what setting we're on right this minute. If we look here, it I as you can see, I'm on simple. One of the things that's frustrating me a little bit is every time I start the game right this minute, it seems to reset me to the simple video setting as I start the game. And I have to go back through. And if I don't do it right, because that's where we have to make that setting, I crash the tech demo. And I've crashed it both in the in the thing I just opened up and on the the button that you can do before you start the tech demo. And so they, they, they really need to deal with that. Um, some promises they made was uh, trees and grass misplaced in Central Park. Um, they're still working on how high or how low that bridge is totally going to be. And I'm going to I'll show you why in a minute. And other bugs that were brought up during the um, live stream. So that is that patch in a, and I, I figured the weather thing out if if you're on clouds and you want clear you can't just do that it, it seems to me you got to go to another weather setting and then go back to clouds or clear you know so it slowly stops raining and then I seem to get the weather that I was trying for and I don't want fog but anyway, let's let's reset. I'm going to go ahead and look at. Do you see? Can you see um, 30 bounce up and down? I have no idea why it's doing that. Now we're going to go for a little ride here. I did. I did. Honest. Pick that engine. Vehicles. FDND. 30. There we go. It just didn't like me the first time. I don't want to go code 3. We're just... Now there's traffic out here. So we're going to we're gonna have to get around. See, and notice that weather changed for reasons I can't tell you. I want clear for crying out loud. Nine o'clock is fine, no fog. That should do that, but it's not always working. Anyway, we're gonna have to kind of poke our nose out here. And I'm I'm probably gonna get clipped. So I'm gonna zip de do that out through here because I wanna get, you know, we're we're trying to go with the flow of traffic. And try not to get cut off. And I'm not going code 3 because that's not exactly what I want to do right this minute. Now, there's no 
And I, I guess, help me here, especially you guys that are from New York City. See, and I knew that was going to happen. I'm just getting used to it. Did all of a sudden, both of the lanes, both of the travel lanes, and I'm just going to get hit because there's no stop signs. All of a sudden, and did you hear, do you hear that tone? I don't know what that is. Stop that. It's not nice. Anyway, I guess maybe if I did this and honk the horn, they do stop for that. Is it just me or do both of the lanes, which I call lanes, which are not, um, to me are going, both are going uptown. They used to be one goes went uptown and one went downtown on both sides of the park. Wow, I almost rolled this silly thing. Um, now all of a sudden they both go in the same direction. And I, is that, do you think that's purposeful? Because that really makes you go a long way out of your way to get to the north uptown or downtown um, and I'm, I'm wondering if that's supposed to be like that. Now notice, we've got traffic in the park. That is exactly what I was hoping to see. Um, but what I want to see, and I'm going to have to appreciate them all pulling over for me, is we're going to get off the deal here. You can see already that there is um, vehicles going in the tunnel or the below ground street. That's great. What I'm hoping to see is something else. And we'll kind of keep an eye on this street here and, and hope that I see because it, it's easier to show you than it is to try to explain it to you. Let's also talk about the fact that with this patch came issues. We, I could have, you know, you don't even have to think about that anymore. You just need to expect it. Another patch is coming out right behind this. Don't be surprised if another vehicle or another video comes out. And here's a good one to see if it can get through this thing. Now, I know I can drive a fire engine in here. Crash! All right. Well, we've just figured out that, and of course, all the firemen got to get out to check that out. So that's going to be my um, thumbnail for this video. That 0 0.2.8 is coming right behind this. Because as I look at, and I can't actually um, look at down the list here, um, some other things that popped up that they figured out right away that I think they think they can fix quick are going to, wow, excuse me, um, get addressed ASAP and we should be seeing um, 0 0.2.8 today maybe tomorrow. Um, I know they've got to get the Mac version of 0.2.7 up because it's a day behind. Um, I'm not going to go into what I believe is the reasons for that. Everybody will have to figure that out um, with Flip Switch because every game developer has a different way of creating version A and B of a game because really they are two versions because they're running on two different operating systems. So it's getting dark. Um, that's all it's in 0 0.2.7. I strongly re recommend that if you have the tech demo, drive around and find out and um, take part in the next live stream because I think they're going to have another one. And don't forget to let them know in a positive way and, and please post your bugs on the correct um, forum subheading. There's a um, pinned subheading for bugs. If you just post it because you like to 
to jam up the rest of the feeds, I don't think it's getting the attention that you think it's getting compared to the pinned um, section that deals specifically with bugs. And I, I'm not trying to be nasty about it. I'm just saying I believe that's how it works. So 0.2.8 is, is right around the corner. This is 0.2.7 real fast. If you have the tech demo, drive around and check it out. Let's see if we can see some other things. Um, this is a good time, I believe, to address whatever concerns you have with the tech demo because it seems that they're in the mood for that. I think getting the map uploaded, which has its own set of issues, um, has kind of got things rolling again after a bit, kind of a big delay. Almost a month of nothing going on. So that's that for the, this particular video. Those of you that I know and those of you that I don't know, I have a question for you and it's related um, to videos for this game, let's say in the, for this particular question, but could it, it could address other videos that I post. I need your perspective, your opinion on um, a question that I need an answer to that I can't seem to find just searching or at least it's not being explained in a way that I'm understanding it. As you go through the channels that you look at to watch videos and I'm not going to sit here and say that you only look at my stuff and then you go off of the computer. That would be funny but it's not true and I understand that. Even I check other channels. I have 88 subscriptions that I watch people and stuff. So that's what YouTube's all about. I'm curious, guys, and, and I'm doing it just because it just popped up and caught my attention. How do you think that a channel like mine gets X number of views? Let's say 348 hours. And then another channel who may not have as many subs and I, I can't think of another way to put this, so please don't take anything by it. It's just the way I've tried to figure out how to ask the question. Could have maybe just started their channel. We And let's say we're both equal as far as how we create our um, descriptions, how we post, how we do our, our um, stuff behind the scenes that helps <clears throat> search for the, the video. How does one video get 1,500 views and one get 300 views? And if you have an idea about what you think the reason is for that, I'd, I'd love to know because I'm curious. I always want to make sure I'm doing everything possible and everything correct to bring the best stuff to my channel and to basically get as many people as possible to see it because like with this game this is a it's a community basically and we're all keeping our fingers crossed and and talking the same language basically to get this tech demo to the finish line as a finished game and so i'm just curious what your thoughts are on this um and it, it goes back to just you know, throwing out ideas and hearing people's input to make sure that I'm covering all the bases, basically. So enough of that. If you think about it, just hit it, um, do something on the comments or something like that. I'd really appreciate it. So let's let's close it for this video for 0.2.7. Don't be surprised if another video comes out tonight with 0.2.8 if it's significant. If there's really nothing going on, I may wait a little bit. I want to do a little more driving, a little more setting up and some other things to put out another vehicle that may cover um, some more things that I'm seeing as a result of what's going on. Hope you're having a great time wherever you're at in the world, whether the daylight or it's evening. I hope you got to do everything you wanted to do or if you're just starting your day, I hope your day goes really well. Um, thanks for coming by my channel as I've said before. Um, please post those questions and comments in, in the um, 
on this video. I love hearing from you. I love to respond. Um, I was incredibly busy yesterday amongst being gone more than I was home. Um, just covering my bases because of the sheer number of people that are sending me messages now, which is awesome. If, if you can't think of anything to say and you don't have any suggestions, which I'm okay with, and that's awesome. I, I feel that way too sometimes. Please thumbs up or thumbs down to let me know whether this video made any sense or it it did what I intended it to do or if I completely missed the mark and, and messed it up. The thumbs up, thumbs down is a great way for me to figure that out. It doesn't take but a split second and you put your point across to me and I get it. And I promise you, I make adjustments accordingly. And in the end of the day, if you haven't subscribed yet, think about it and join the group that I'm going on this little journey here through all the games that I, I post, the new things that are coming out, the the patches and bugs and all the discussions that we have um, I would love to have you as part of the group and have you add to the conversation that's all done I'm going to get back to work because I've got to to really figure out if I have anything to add to the bug list for this particular tech demo so you know and I know we'll see each other in the next video you guys have a great day and thanks so much